Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> Ooh, these are literally like the first words out of my mouth today. If you couldn't tell by my voice, don't worry, this will get better. Um, it's just always like this in the morning, and especially after I travel, <clears throat> or if, if I don't like sleep enough or something, but I think, yeah, actually, I don't even know if I slept that much. Um, what's weird is my alarm is set for like in an hour, but I just couldn't sleep any later. I like could not sleep in, and I think that's because we were ahead in Curacao by an hour, so I'm jet lagged. No, I think that's not a thing if it's an hour, but since it's like later in Curacao, my body was like time to get up. Um, and I'm home for literally 24 hours, you guys. It's insane because I got in last night and I fly out at like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to go visit Max. So today is just going to be like a one day home vlog extreme productivity because I need to unpack, repack, do everything that I need to do here um, and so I'm actually really happy that I got up an hour before my alarm because I literally <clears throat> am doing so many things today to prepare to go visit Max and then straight from visiting Max I am oh my god my voice flying to Long Island like two days before Thanksgiving three days before Thanksgiving because that's where my family's having Thanksgiving and yeah, I'm going to be gone for the next two weeks, so I need to be really strategic with my packing because I don't want to bring, like, way too much stuff, but I want to have enough because I'm literally gone for a full two weeks, and I get back December 1st, Vlogmas Day 1, which is crazy. So I have a lot to get done today, um, and I'm going to Soul Cycle in, like, two hours with Natalie, so that's going to be fun. I feel like I haven't gone in, like, a week since I've been in Curse House, so it's going to be good to go and... Yes, let's start being productive and knocking off things off the to-do list, people. <laughs> it's a busy day. Oh, that's always the craziest thing after I get back from traveling is literally the amount of packages I get. If you just saw a little clip of me unboxing everything I don't even I didn't even count how many packages that was but I had to get a luggage cart from my <laughs> concierge last night to bring up everything um yeah anyway what I wanted to show you is the most exciting stuff I got you guys is all these clothes and shoes from Express and honestly now I don't have time to go through it all um because I need to find if there's like food in my kitchen before I go to Seoul but when I get back, I'm going to show you all. Oh my god, this I'm so excited about. Do you see those sequins? Hello, for the holidays. So, can't wait to show you this. Sneak preview of what's coming soon. Um, and, yeah, that way after school I can, like, shower and look presentable and actually, like, make outfits and make them, like, cute and stuff. Alright, I haven't looked in the fridge yet. Oh, Taylor actually left a lot of food. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> Um, there's some Gatorade that I left here. Maybe I'll drink that. Um, a kombucha. <laughs> I don't know what to eat. Maybe I have some cereal. That would be good. I feel like I need to eat something. I, the worst thing I do, you guys, is when I travel, it obviously messes up, like, <laughs> everything. But your eating schedule and stuff, I feel like. So, I always will be, like, not hungry. Then I'll come back to Boston go right into a workout class and feel like I'm actually going to faint and pass out because I didn't eat, so we're gonna find some food, hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy I thought to do this. I just did some oats, peanut butter, and a bunch of bananas, and if you guys remember the cinnamon and when I got it, comment down below, because I'm gonna be really proud of you. For Kylie, like, can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Is that too much? Okay, whatever. I like <laughs> cinnamon. I need to eat this quick and then off to Seoul. Ready for Seoul. This is what we have going on. All black. Um, also, I just grabbed this new Canon G7X out of the box. LOL. Now I have two. But it's good for me to have two because I always break one. And then the other one that I was just using is so broken. I can literally show you guys. Look at the screen on the back. This one screw I put back in, this one's missing a screw. See how it goes like that? It's just so loose. I need to figure out a way to fix it, but it's just good for me to have two, so. Oh, this is looking extra crisp and nice right now. You know why. It's because 
it's a new fresh one. Okay, let's go. I am so excited right now, you guys, because I haven't been to Johnny's class in so long. Please don't fall. <laughs> um, and I think I've heard that he is gonna not be an instructor anymore in a little while, which makes me really sad because I just love all the Soul Cycle instructors in Boston. Um, there might be a couple new ones that I haven't been to that I definitely need to go to, but I like that each instructor is like a different vibe, if you know what I mean. Like Johnny is just like so happy and fun and I'm gonna be smiling the whole class and like laughing and he's like cracking jokes and stuff. So that's the kind of like energy I need right now. <clears throat> and I'm just so amped because I haven't been to Seoul in like a week or whatever since I've been away. So it's so exciting. Another thing, side note, since my car is in the garage, I just can't tell how cold it is outside and I looked up before I left like how cold it was when I was sitting in my car. I'm like, I hope I'm bundled up enough and it's literally 30 degrees out but my phone's like, it feels like 18 and yeah, it's really cold. So hopefully my little puffer is good enough. I mean, I'm just running like in and out of Seoul. Can there not be traffic? I'm going to a very important place. <laughs> Everyone hurry. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Oh, also, side note, why do people have road rage? Like, why is that a thing? I always think that because, I mean, I've definitely I've definitely become more of an aggressive driver being in Boston because you kind of have to be. But also, like, what is the point? Because you being, like, angry or honking at people or whatever, like, if there's traffic, you're not going to get where you're going anywhere quicker. So, like, what is the point? Oh, my gosh, there's an ambulance. Okay, I have to pull over. Bye. You guys... I left so early. I was gonna get there like 15 minutes early. I'm so stressed. I don't know what to do. Like the main road. What is that road called? Not Arlington. No, wait. Is that Arlington? I don't know. The road that I need to go to to get to Star Drive to hop on over to Beacon Hill is all blocked off. I don't even know if there's another way I can get there. There's got to be like a detour. Oh my gosh. If I don't make it, I'm gonna be so upset like what do I do uh, why didn't Waze know Waze always knows mm. it's having me loop around literally Waze right now is telling me to loop around and go back the way I can't go and it says I'm gonna get there at 1042 and the class is at 1045 how do we go from getting there at 1030 to 1042 this is it's blocked off up there too what is going on? Is today like a parade or something? I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm so stressed. You guys, I made it. I just got so lucky. I'm so confused. That road that was blocked off, like I turned around because we were just in complete traffic going one way and I'm like, I'm not going to make it. So I turned around just to go back the other way and then the road wasn't blocked off anymore and I could go on it and so it was right there. Now I just have to find parking. I have like 10 minutes. Oh baby! Thank God, you guys. I needed this, and I'm so happy that I'm not late. <laughs> well, that Cheryl, that was hard. Cheryl, me and Natalie were laughing the whole time. I just kept looking at your face in the mirror, and I would look over at you. Laughing. He was being so Also, my teeth funny. are so yellow in this light. They look white. I could see your teeth glowing in the mirror. They look so white. I think I could use a pressed yeah, white strip. I wish I had your teeth because they're white and they're like, like mine are so little. Like you have like big, pretty ones. Your words. minor circle. Well, anyway, we don't need to talk about teeth. Well, right okay. now, so, I just my new fresh camera. Did I just tell you? Because yeah, I'm like, oh, we're so good. I just sat on the box. So now I just have two. And now I can tell it's so crisp here. So I need to get my next. I have the screw on the back is literally gone, so I don't even know how to. I need to go to the store like today. Right? Yeah. Now I need a new shoe. Today, this vlog is gonna be being home for one day and being oh insanely God, productive. I have to be thinking of until December. I know, I opened like a million packages, I did my laundry, I have to repack, I have like videos to film, I have so much to do before I go. But it's gonna be great. And I know I need this. I'm so happy I made it. It's the weirdest vlog in situation. I was like, like the best way. It was so weird, but I made it. Well, that was hard. Our first one back from vacation. My arm is like. <laughs> yeah, my arms are feeling it. And, like the arms. The arms are like, so hard. It and just I was like, I was like, oh, I can't do this. It's like. Nah, 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 nah. Let me just say. How amazing that class was. I know I just vlogged with Natalie. It was so hard, but it was so good and I just miss Johnny's vibe so much. I don't think I've ever laughed so much in a soul cycle class. It was so he's just really funny and 
I just feel like every instructor, like I was saying on the way here, is like a different vibe and he's just like really funny and fun and is gonna put you in the best mood and make you laugh. But also that class was so challenging and I just had a realization since I am flying to Philly tomorrow morning to visit Max. I don't think I've really talked about it, maybe a little bit when I was in Curacao. Um, is it me or is this new camera so like crisp? But anyway, so Max is gonna be at the airport at like 9 a.m. But then he's actually busy with his hockey team all day. I know I actually posted about this on Instagram. Um, he has a good thing with his hockey team all day. So now that's why we couldn't go to Hamilton anymore. Um, Sunday afternoon, I had tickets, but then I, um, yeah, couldn't go because he's gonna be gone all day. And so I'm gonna be chilling all day and I can go hang out in Philly, I can go to King of Prussia, I can go hang out in Reading, nap, <laughs> whatever it is. But I, oh, did I even say what I realized? What I realized is I should go to Soul Cycle class in Philly because I haven't gone to the Soul Cycle in Philly. Sorry, I feel like out of it right now. I feel like I'm not making any sense, so I'm gonna stop vlogging and drive home. But yeah, like wouldn't that be fun if I did that? And also, to validate my parking from Whole Foods, I just got blackberries, which is so random that I just got this. But I am leaving around morning, so I didn't need to get like a bunch of groceries. And it was really funny, you guys. Have you been to Seoul? I hope you get a good kick out of this. I don't think I've talked about this in a video before. But every Seoul instructor in the beginning of class or whatever will come in with a little plastic container and it looks like a bunch of blackberries rolling around and I always thought that they were I thought every instructor like ate blackberries during their soul cycle class to like have energy or whatever if they were hungry needed a snack I always thought they were bringing blackberries in with them and maybe a year or two into riding at soul cycle I realized they weren't blackberries they're like and they're called windscreens they're like the little uh like soft squishy part that goes on the end of the mic but instructors will sweat all over them and they get all wet so then they switch them out and they have a bunch of windscreens and they change them during class and I felt so dumb when I saw an instructor doing it one day during class I guess I just never noticed because I always thought they were blackberries while they were eating so isn't that funny but anyway we're gonna go home shower I'm gonna show you all my clothes from Express because I'm so excited I picked out a bunch of stuff that can be like holiday -y because I'm going straight to Thanksgiving with my family in Long Island from Max like I said and so I have to pick out a Thanksgiving outfit and yeah and then I think Emma and I are gonna go to the new Tati that opened up for lunch which is so fun because it's right nearby um yeah let's go have wait <laughs> that was in English <laughs> let's go keep having our productive day let's continue on with the productive day okay I showered put on my big fluffy zip up oh Hello, water bottle. I need to fill this up. This is your reminder to stay hydrated today. Go drink from your water bottle. Actually, this is so fitting because this <clears throat> I got from Express last time I showed you guys stuff that I got from Express. I love it so much. I have it also in the pullover, but this is just the zip up one and it's so new and like extra soft and fluffy, you know, before you like wash it or anything. So, before I get into it, I'm going to show you guys all the clothes I got from Express. I'm so excited to show you every piece. They're literally so cute. Thank you so much, Express, for working with me on this video because you guys know how much I love your clothes. And yeah, I'm going to have everything linked down below. You guys can drop all these looks in the description down below. And let's get into it. Okay, so first I thought we should start off with this dress because i think it's so beautiful it's just this long sleeve dress and it reminded me so much of the holidays i was thinking i could wear it to thanksgiving i don't know if it's more christmasy because it's like this emerald color but how freaking beautiful is this i'm definitely wearing this for thanksgiving or christmas no one copy me <laughs> and when you were little that was a thing you would like plan your outfits and like you and your friends i feel like everyone would be like don't copy me no you can copy me we should twin um yeah i feel like this is so cute for the holidays then I got these gloves and this hat because it's getting so cold and I think I like misplaced all of my gloves from when I moved from my last apartment. I don't know where any of them are. They might be at my house in Albany. I don't know. All I know is I don't have any here. So these are perfect. These are these gray little gloves. And I remember when I ordered them, they have like the special... I forget what it is in gloves that makes you be able to like type on your phone like magnetic or something can someone tell me down below in the comments I know you guys know but you know the things like the tips of your fingers they like do something in the gloves so that it'll type on your phone so I love those and I like that the 
and I like that little detail. And then I just got this all black knit hat with a black puffa. 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 It's not a coat. A black fuzzy, puffy pom pom thing. A fuzza. That's what me and Maggie call fuzzy things. A fuzza. Um, okay. Then I got this skirt. Because I thought this was so fun. Maybe I'll do the green one for Thanksgiving. And then this can be like Christmas with like a red sweater or something. Wouldn't that be fun? This just screams like holidays to me or even like New Year's. Because it's obviously all like sequiny and silver little skirt. Then I got these jeans. And I thought these were so beautiful on their website. If you guys know, I have a bunch of jeans from Express. They just fit me so well. I love that I can get longs because my legs are long since I'm 5'9". I know I say that in every video that I talk about pants. Um, but yeah, and I have a lot that are twos, and then these I got in a four so that they would be a little more, not like loose, but just have a little more room than like skin tight skinny jeans, you know? But these I thought were so cute. I love the little fray at the bottom of the jeans. I love the distressing. I love the wash of them. I'm really picky about the color of my jeans, like the wash, and these are like this perfect like light medium wash. Then I got this black leather jacket. And if you guys remember, I showed a black cropped leather jacket last time, but it didn't have this like, is this sneak skin? I don't know, this like crocodile. <laughs> what is this material called? Um, it didn't have this little detailing, so I thought this was so cute. And I wear that one all the time, you guys, for going out, like the cropped with like high-waisted jeans. I always wear that cropped leather jacket. Like I feel like I wear it every day. So I decided I should get another one, and this is just like a little different. I like the detailing a lot. I love the cut of these. These are like so perfect if you just need to throw something over top. Okay, then I got another coat. This is like out of my comfort zone, but I was basically really inspired. I was scrolling on Instagram and this girl I follow was wearing this big like light color beige. I don't even know what color this is. This is like a beige, light gray, tan. I don't know if it says on there. Yeah, but you can see what it looks like. And she had the cutest outfit with like this literal coat on and maybe like a white top and jeans or something it was very basic but it was so cute with the coat and i was like i need that so i got it then okay i'll show you last two jeans and then the shoes i got i love flying monkey jeans i love the way they fit me and i love that express has them so i just got two more pairs of flying monkey jeans if you remember last time i showed express stuff i know i keep saying that but i got like medium wash more loose fitting flying monkey jeans and i've been wearing them so much because they are just so flattering and i just feel like so comfortable and cute in them so i got these black ones and these are so fun they have really fun jeans there's two buttons at the top and then they're tight until the bottom. They flare out a little bit. They're all distressed. And I think they have a little like slit. These are so cool. I cannot wait to wear those. And then these also I think are a little flary. Yeah. Okay. These are just dark wash ones. Tight until again they flare out at the bottom. So fun. Like these are so fun. Like I don't have jeans like that. Okay. Last but not least, some shoes. So this is like the same print as, not print, like material texture as the leather jacket I showed you. But I just thought these boots were so fun. And I love Steve, where does it say I love Steve Madden shoes because they're such good quality and I love that they have those on Express as well. I love the style of these. I like booties that are like rounded. I feel like they fit my feet better. Um, and I like the height of these. I feel like I'm always wearing black booties. So these are just another perfect little pair. I feel like I go through them so much because I'm like always wearing black booties if I'm like going out or something. Okay, then these ones are Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita. Um, I love that brand of shoes too and I love that they have it on Express. And these, I know you're probably like, Gretchen, those are so not winter, but I couldn't not get them. I saw them and I literally was like, oh, like I think I actually gasped because I thought they were so cute. And no, I can't run around in the snow in these. They would have been better for fall. I know now it's like getting colder, but if it doesn't snow yet or something, maybe I'll try to wear these with like jeans or something, but these will be so good like in the spring, in summer, into next fall. Um, so yeah, just you wait. I'm gonna hang on to these puppies and wear them when they're ready, when they have their time. Because these are just like the cutest shoes I've ever seen. I've never seen shoes like this. They're kind of like a mule, little heel style shoes. But then they have like the um, strap around the back. Oh, I just love those. And I couldn't not get them. Okay, then another 
pair of black booties from Dolce Vita and I'm realizing they look a lot like the other black booties I showed you but they're different because these ones are pointed they're a little bit shorter heel and like I said I'm always wearing black booties so I figured they were different enough and I really like them then last but not least okay these Yes, if you guys remember, <laughs> I keep saying this, the last time I showed from Express, I got these button taupe and I've been wearing them all the time. Like everyone is like, where are those from? They're so cute. I've been getting so many compliments on them. So I decided I needed to get them in black. And then ones I had before from Steve Madden that are kind of this style of black, they have zippers. They're fuzzy on the inside if you guys remember those. Um, I feel like my feet get really hot in there because they're fuzzy on the inside and I just like the look of these better like without the zippers, so yes upgrade i'm getting these ones and i love them they're so cute oh i wonder because i have to go pack for um reading later if i should bring these or the taupe ones or both because like i feel like black goes with more but like taupe goes with a lot too you might have to do both we will see but yeah that is everything to show you guys from express again they'll be linked down below if you would like to check any of those items out and twin with me and now i'm gonna go to tate with emma for lunch i'm so excited i wish i was like you know doing my hair and like makeup so i could like take a cute photo there or something but we're just gonna be all natural today because there is no time for makeup and hair when you have to be productive <laughs> i'm being like a crazy person but I just feel like I have so much to do. Hey, uh, Emma's so cozy. We're at the new Tate. It's so pretty in here, you guys. Love it. Because it's so new and fresh, yeah. And I love that it's packed. Like, the first day it's, like, open. Or I guess it's been open for one day. I think it opened yesterday. Yeah, it opened yesterday. Yeah, which is so funny. It's opening day, so, like... This is my appetizer, <laughs> in case you're wondering. A chocolate croissant. Emma got soup. I got this, like, little vegetable bowl thingy that's coming oh did you notice i'm using my new camera oh my god it looks so good it's so fresh and new wait and let me crisp. hold yeah wow wow <laughs> this looks so, so good why does it look so good i think it's just that it's new and the other one my screen fell off as you saw yeah it was so bad so i don't know i'm gonna have to figure out how to fix it yeah get it like a little screw somewhere but I'm so excited for my food. My wild rice bowl came and it looks so good. I haven't got this before but there's a bunch of like vegetables stuff like that in there. It looks so good. You guys are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm getting boots for my puppy in the spring. Look at them. He's so cute. He has little ankle boots on. He's so fluffy and cute. Hi. You guys. I'm about to share with you a secret, okay, of influencers everywhere. This is something that nobody tells you. I have been trying on clothes for three and a half hours. Let that sink in. Like a full three and a half hours. Like I filled up my water bottle once to take a sip of water because I don't even stop to breathe or drink water or eat food or check my phone. Oh, I told you I had to be productive today. I had a lot to do. I'm whoo, making good progress even though it's getting late, but I'm going insane. Oh, I could like film a try on clip in my sleep, but I just had so many clothes. You guys saw all my packages, so many clothes to try on. Yeah. Instagram stories to film stuff like that haven't even started packing, but we do have to do that and um, It's almost dinner. So I have to figure that out um, Maybe I will go to Whole Foods and just get something quick there because I don't have food here anyway There's no point in me like getting groceries like I'm leaving in a couple hours Maybe I'll like hit the salad bar at Whole Foods or something. I could do sweet green, but I don't know Sometimes I feel like I get sick of sweet green because it's so like distinct you know but I feel like a chicken with my head cut off right now that's really how I feel um, but also with all the trying on clothes comes with like a perk of that is me figuring out my all, figuring out all my outfits for I was gonna say vacation it's like not really vacation just like visiting max it is I guess vacation in a way because it's not here it's vacation in my mind because I always feel like I'm on vacation with Max. <laughs> that was so mushy. But um, 
No, I tried on so many cute outfits, so it helped me like plan out outfits for when I'm gonna be there, which is so nice because outfits always like stress me out. But if I like, I have certain like sweaters and jeans and like tops and jackets and skirts that like look really well together since I've tried them on already, and so I can bring them and like know in my head that they'll look good. Does anyone else stress out like that, or is it just me? I don't know. Okay, I need to clean up because the <laughs> that's going on. When you film try on, if any of you are YouTubers, like. It looks like my whole, all of my belongings have exploded everywhere. Is it just me? Okay, I'm going to clean up and then we're going to go to Whole Foods and get dinner. Also, I didn't even real I realized, I didn't even tell you guys earlier, remember how my B-roll this morning of me, <laughs> my little sped up clip of me unboxing all those packages? I think I got three more that I opened that I got from them that I didn't even show you guys. It's crazy, but... Not complaining, love my life. <laughs> All right, finally going to Whole Foods for some food, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm mostly packed, LOL, all these RX bars. I'm bringing Max a bunch because he loves them and I have so many, and yeah, I feel like he'll just always grab them like on the go before practice and stuff, so I thought of him and grabbed a bunch. I'm not even that organized. I use a packing cubes, but then I just threw more stuff in. I still have more stuff to throw in here, like mm, my toiletry bag, my makeup bag. Uh, I need a moment. <laughs> I feel like I just haven't sat today, you know, those days. And I don't even know if I've been that good at, like, capturing at all. Because I've literally just been running around doing so many things. Like, for example, like, so many, like, random things. Like, me and Allie were laughing when we were watching my vlog from when I was leaving before Curse How. I was, like, tying up loose ends. But, like, literally, I just feel like before you leave for a while, like... I have to vacuum when I get back. I took out the trash. I have to take it out again. I have boxes. I have to go bring the recycling. I'm mailing my mom an envelope. It never ends. Adulting is so hard. Okay. Before I just fall asleep and don't eat, let's go eat. That's important. <laughs> I'm literally laughing. If you're ever looking for me in public, look for someone dressed like this. Because this is probably how I'm dressed. See, I told you I'm about to take... The trash out. There it is. I'm a mess. Okay, I need to not be negative. Um, it's like a busy day, but you know what? Silver lining, bright side to everything. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. I'm gonna sleep so well. And I think I said it earlier, not complaining because I love my life. So, even if you think I'm complaining, Okay, I'm at the salad bar at Whole Foods, and Max always makes the yummiest one here. So I'm gonna try to attempt to do what he does. Let's see if they have all the ingredients. Okay, I just shook it up. It probably looks so scary, but um, there's carrots, cucumbers, lettuce, there's romaine, and spinach like down at the bottom. Um, he always gets, actually, I think he likes the, like, fried chicken, but they didn't have that, so I got grilled chicken. I don't think he gets eggs, but I like hard-boiled eggs in my salad, so I got that. I added a little cheese, like a tiny bit, because he always puts cheese in there, but I don't think I even really like that. Um, he normally puts sweet potato. They didn't have that, so I put normal little roasted circle potatoes. Honestly, I think that might be it. I think I forgot about tomatoes, and this is gonna sound so weird, but ranch with balsamic is so good. I didn't add the balsamic, so I'm just going to add it now with balsamic for my house, but um, yeah, here's dinner. And I was gonna eat it there, and then I was like, no, I'll just bring it home. I guess I still feel a little uncomfortable eating alone in public. I did like that one time at Chipotle, <laughs> but I had Danielle and Brooke's podcast in, so... It was like I was with my friends. I wasn't really alone, but yeah. Okay, time to eat because it's literally 9 p.m. All right, you guys. Finally in the home stretch. I feel like today was extremely, not I feel like, I know. Today was extremely productive. I don't even know if I was that good at capturing it, but that's how you know you had a productive day because I was literally so busy that I just wasn't even, you know, Okay, that's a bad idea to brush and fog. Now I have toothpaste in my mouth. <laughs> I already took my melatonin, so I'm like half asleep. I'm so tired. I gotta go to bed. But I'm gonna end off this vlog now that there's toothpaste in my mouth. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>